Hello well, everyone, Christian here. Did you know Shopify sets a bunch of limitations on your checkout page? But you probably already know that. But why the limitations? Well, the limitations are in place because of regulatory security and compliance issues. That means that they have to restrict how the checkout page can look and function. Now, if you want a better flexibility, you can always upgrade to Shopify Plus, which starts around $2,000 a month, crazy. So let's go over three things you can change right now that we believe will give you a little boost in conversions in your checkout page, and it will probably alleviate a little bit of the headaches that some customers are getting. All right, so first off is change the OR text line. If you have the express checkout buttons enabled, that's the Apple Pay, Shop Pay, Google Pay, etc. Uh, Shopify places a branded buttons at the very top of the first page on the checkout process. However, if your customer prefers to pay with an actual credit card, uh, it is sometimes difficult for them to tell if that is actually possible. Um, they may abandon your, your checkout assuming that uh, you don't accept other payment methods besides what's shown at the very top. So to uh, make things a little bit better, uh, Shopify puts the word or uh, in a rather very small and light type under the alternate payment buttons. Um, the problem many store owners face is that not all customers see this or understand that it means that they can enter credit card number later in the process. Um, there is however one alternative to this that can often help and that is changing the word or to be a little bit more detailed. So for example, you may change it to something like or continue to pay with your credit card or something similar. You can use also or use Visa, MasterCard, American Express or Discover. So let's go into our store here and let me show you where you can actually change this. A lot of the changes that we're gonna make today are based on language that will make, we believe, the process of the checkout a little bit easier. So let's go into that right now. All right, so to change the or text, we're gonna go to um, our store here. We're gonna go settings and then scroll down to languages. And then in here, your default language, English, we're gonna change the theme language. And then this could be a little bit tricky to find. I know I had a little bit of a hard time trying to find exactly where it was. Uh, the best thing is going to be going to the three little dots here, click on checkout and system. And then in here, filtering, I believe I did alternate. Let's see if that works. No. Um, oh, actually, it's alternative. So if you type in alternative, oops, let me just do alternate. There we go. Uh, if we type the word alternative, uh, this will show up, which is the or text right here. So you see or, and now we just have or right here. So instead of just having or, let's do the or continue to pay with your credit card. Now, let me show you exactly where this is at. Um, so if you see right here, this store has the express checkout buttons, Shop Pay and Apple Pay, and then it has the that little or right there. Now, depending on the color of your, this is a little bit more noticeable actually, uh, but depending on the color of your background, sometimes this or can get very, very lost, right? So people just assume that this is already the only two options that they have uh, with credit card. So instead of just having that or, we're gonna add some text so that it's a little bit more noticeable, right? Um, when people are looking at that. So let's do that and let's click save. And then let's see if we refresh this. All right, so there we have it. So we have the express checkout buttons up here and then the or continue to pay with your credit card uh, text right underneath it. So, and we've actually had several customers come to us and say that uh, some people uh, it's, I mean, yeah, some people just don't realize that they have the opportunity to input their credit card information afterwards. So the express checkout could be a little bit confusing. Now, if you don't have express checkout, then you don't necessarily have to worry about this one. Now, before we move on to the second one, I just want to say bienvenidos. My name is Christian Pignon, one of the co-founders here at Bitbranding. We're an e-commerce growth agency that specializes in helping clothing stores grow and scale profitably online. We drop new videos every week, so make sure that you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out. Now, the second one that we wanna change is the continue to payment method button. Um, and like the solution before, uh, it's a, just another way to signal that you accept other payment methods uh, is to change that text on that large button on the first checkout page to clarify that you accept credit cards. So you can change it to something like enter your credit card next. 
So let's take a look at that button right here. So if we scroll right here on the checkout page, it just says continue to shipping. So again, it doesn't make it inherently clear that on this next step, you're actually going to be inserting credit card information. So instead of continue to shipping, we wanna change it to enter your credit card next. So let's go back to our language and let's look for, um, hold on, let's see, continue to shipping. So continue. So you type in continue to shipping and you should be able to get the, yeah, that button right here. So we're gonna type in here, enter your credit card next. Okay, then we're gonna click save on that. We're gonna refresh this page Okay, there we go. Uh, so again, the, the fix in here is to make sure that the customer knows that they can insert credit card information and that these are not the end all be all when it comes to this process right here. Obviously there are some customers that are smart and they can figure this out, but others need a little bit more guidance, right? And that's what we're trying to do here. So we've added the or continue to pay with your credit card uh, right here. And then we've also changed this button right here, which it says enter your credit card next. So that gives them the the, yeah, next step is going to be your credit card information. So even if they look at this and they, they maybe they're confused, uh, they scroll down to the bottom and they're like, oh, okay, yeah, you can actually put credit card on that next step. So I'm good here. So you know what else is uh, not very good about the checkout page and conversions is not being able to actually track those conversions based on your marketing effort. We're using a tool called Triple Will for all of your for all of our client and group coaching members, and this powered house of a tool allows us to see the lifetime value of a customer at 30, 60, 90 days. Uh, but what we're most excited about is the uh, estimated action of customers. Imagine being able to send out emails or run ad campaigns to customers who are likely to buy from you second or third time and knowing when to actually send these marketing messages. Um, it's super, super powerful. Um, if you haven't checked out Triple Well, then you need to do so because it's going to help you and your marketing efforts today and moving forward. Uh, make sure to check out the link in the description below. So another thing that a lot of people ask for within the checkout page and it's something that you can't do is to add logos or trust marks on the page where users enter the credit card numbers, uh, ensuring them that it's a secure transaction and whatnot. Um, this usually comes from um, uh, other stores or other platforms like WooCommerce where you may have the ability to add trust badges and things like that. But when it comes to Shopify, again, they limit what you can do within the the, the checkout, um, except if you have the Shopify Plus, which again, it's like $2,000 a month and nobody has time to pay for all that money. So when it comes to these badges, um, again, it's something that you can't necessarily do, um, but Shopify does output the all transactions are secure and encrypted message, and it's just above where shoppers enter credit card details. Now, let me show you where that's at. So we're gonna fill out some of this information. All right, so on this page of the checkout, you'll see payment and it says all transactions are secure and encrypted. So that's the sentence that Shopify provides instead of having the actual trust badges and things like that. Now, uh, for something like this, uh, you can also change that text right there and you can update to uh, maybe read something like we never store your credit card number and your payment is secure. So it may be something, you know, just a little bit more, right, than, than what we have here. Um, now, this is assuming that Obviously, you know, Shopify is pretty secure and it is encrypted. Um, so we're just kind of sort of tweaking the verbiage here a little bit. So let's go and find uh, this piece of text right here in the language um, section of our store. So, uh, if, so it reads all transactions. So let's just start with that and see all trans. So typically when you type in the actual phrase, it will show up. Um, obviously with the very first one, the or, uh, that was a little bit trickier. <laughs> so uh, if you type or, you'll get a bunch of different or. Um, so with this one, it's not present, right, all throughout your store. So we can see all transactions are secure and encrypted. So it's called the card security notice right here. So we're gonna change that one to, we never store your credit card number and your payment is 
secure. Click on save on that. Let's see if we can actually refresh this page without it kicking us back. Okay, so it did work. Perfect, so yeah, now we have that message. We never store your credit card number and your payment is secure. Now, uh, word of caution here, uh, please make sure that you're checking spelling uh, for accuracy. Um, obviously, what Shopify already provides has been spell check and it actually reads really well. So you just wanna make sure that your spelling and the words that you're using and the sentence structure, it's all correct because that's something that your customers are definitely going to see and take notice of. Hey, I just want to mention real quick, if you're liking what you're seeing so far, please consider clicking that like button. All right, so lastly is to add more information to the confirmation page, right? It's that page after you purchase. Now, this is a tweak that doesn't necessarily affect conversions since it appears after an order is completed, but using the additional scripts to output custom content can still be an effective marketing tool for you. So um, just really quickly, uh, we're gonna go to, this one's a little bit different, so it's in settings and then inside of checkout. And then if you scroll down here, you'll see the order status page here. And I just added just a quick like, uh, just a numbered list and uh, a bulleted list and just an image just to kind of test and see how you know this might look right here on the on the actual status page so right here additional scripts already saved on that so let's go through the checkout process and see if we can see that all right so this is a thank you page and as you can see the additional text right that we added yeah, you can see it right here so it says heading text your text here there's a Facebook link there's another link right here there's another heading. This is supposed to be an image, so we can actually add images within here. And then uh, another numbered list. So step one, step two, step three. So again, it's very simple, but it may be good for you to add additional text right within here, within that thank you page, um, if you need to, right? It's not necessarily a, a thing to, um, to do just because, um, but if you have some intentionality or maybe some um, marketing thing that you want to do or maybe uh, encourage them to leave a review or whatnot, uh, you can do that free without any additional apps by just changing that additional script section uh, within the checkout. So there you have it. Now, word of caution, once you discover the ability to change the language settings uh, for your checkout page or any page really, uh, it can be tempting to start adjusting every field that you see, uh, especially since this is like one of the uh, few things that you can actually customize for, for checkouts. However, uh, keep in mind that the default text that Shopify has here is based on industry best practices and what they've seen that works best. So in many cases, the default text usually you know might work a little bit better. Um, so just keep that in mind, but again, we just want to give you that option. Um, now, while tweaking the text to better appeal to your customer base or match your brand, can sometimes be very effective. It can also, uh, you also, it's important to ensure that your users are still clearly understanding what each component of your checkout pages actually do for us. So for example, uh, let's say that you sell designer clothing um, and have a quirky offbeat voice um, in your product copy. Uh, you might be tempted to change the default like complete order right at the very end uh, to say something like send them my way. Uh, while that's clever, cutesy, it's also not as clear or as straightforward as complete order, right? So it may be worth using uh, some conventional wording when it comes to those key call to actions at least. So just keep that in mind. All right, that's all we have for today. Now make sure that you keep watching some of our videos and check out the next one in the series right here.